Today I'm going to try and give you a little tutorial about how to use the mounting brackets. We can't really film behind the screen as it's being mounted, so we're going to have to sort of lay it out here and show you how it would work. You're going to have two pieces, a large piece and a small piece. You're going to mount the large piece on your wall. Now this is whether you've got a bigger screen that re requires two sets or the medium to small that require one set. The large goes on your wall. You put your screws in, hopefully hitting studs. If not, you'll need to get the drywall inserts. You put it in just like this with the lip facing up towards your ceiling and away from the wall so it creates a gap between the wall and the lip. Your small one is going to go on the back of your screen, either on the T if you're using the medium to small screens or in two separate places on the larger screens that will match the studs in your wall. It's going to go totally opposite. Its lip is going to go down and away from the back of the screen, which means its lip would be up against the wall when you're actually mounting it. So that lip will now slide down into that gap created by the one you mounted on the wall. This locks the screen in place. It's not coming out, but it does allow you to slide it left or right to center up the screen on your wall. That's how these work. Now, if you're using our new thin frame, they're going to mount on the frame a little bit different. Instead of mounting into the metal, they're going to mount into the wood. Here's a piece we'll use as an example. The small ones on the wood will mount just like this so that the metal is right below the edge of the velvet. Then you'll take the wood screws and screw it in. You're gonna match this up with the studs on your wall where you place the big ones. 